Hello and welcome to my Speaker Secrets. My name is Patience Chisanga Meyer, your public speaking and branding trainer. I'm truly excited about sharing my next three videos with you, which basically summarize a book review of Talk Like Ted, The Nine Public Speaking Secrets of the World's Top Minds, written by Carmine Gallo, who is the author of The Presentation Secrets of Steve Jobs, and he has worked with several CEOs across the world. He has worked for the CNN, and he is a communication expert. I really appreciated the insights that Carmine Gallo has given us in this book. I want to refer to it as a little Bible for anyone who wants to improve their public speaking or communication skills. One thing I really appreciate about this book is the fact that most of the principles that have been shared, in fact, all the nine principles that have been shared in this book have got exceptional examples that highlight how you can utilize that principle. Beyond that, there is scientific research that proves that these nine principles will help you step out and speak out with confidence. Now, let me just put this book aside as I continue sharing with you part one of some of the highlights that I appreciated in Talk Like Ted. It is structured in three parts. The first part, he talks about being emotional. The second part is about novelty. You need to teach your audience something new every time you public speak. And the third part is about your presentations being memorable. Once you make your presentation, is it a presentation that your audience will remember after you have delivered that particular presentation? In his introduction, I like the fact that he highlights the importance of public speaking. Better than average speakers are generally more successful than anyone else in the world. But great public speakers, great communicators are remembered by their last names. You can think of them. Jefferson, King, Kennedy, Reagan. The list is endless. Great communicators or great public speakers start movements. They are very, very inspirational whenever they communicate to us. So now let's get started. The three principles that he shares in part one of this book fall under the umbrella emotional, meaning that whenever you public speak, you have to appeal to the emotions of your audience. One of my favorite quotations that I usually share in the public speaking and branding master classes that I host is that public speaking is not from mouth to ear. Public speaking is from heart to heart. And that is what this chapter pretty much talks about. The first principle is about you mastering the art of unleashing your passion. And this first principle is dubbed Unleash the Master Within. An example of a TED presentation that you would want to look up is that of Cameron Russell, a model who gave a presentation on looks aren't everything. Cliche, right? And this is a presentation that was made by a model. And you will really appreciate how she talks about image, marketing, and how this feeds into everything that we see around us. When you watch her presentation, you will notice the level of enthusiasm as she speaks. You will also notice the level of passion. Newsflash, passion is apparently contagious. It has been scientifically proven. If you're going to public speak, you have to be passionate about your topic. And if you're not passionate about your topic or your presentation, discover something in that presentation that feeds into your passion. There is always a point in that presentation or a part of your presentation that you can connect with. When you are passionate about your presentation, your audience is more likely to be inspired by that presentation. 
The second principle is mastering the art of storytelling. And oh, how I love how he highlights the three modes of persuasion by Aristotle. As he analyzed some of the speeches that are included in Talk Like Ted, he did give us some insight into the three modes of persuasion, which are pathos, logos, and ethos. Now remember, pathos is about communicating from your heart. It's about your emotions. It's about unleashing the art of storytelling. Logos is about logic, research, statistics. Any information that is logically organized feeds into logos. And then ethos has to do with your credibility as well as your professionalism. Now, when he analyzed the speech that was delivered by Brian Stevenson, another great speech that you need to look up, go onto the TED website or go onto YouTube and search for Brian Stevenson's presentation. When his speech was analyzed, 65% of the content fell under pathos, which is the art of storytelling. Daryl Carnegie, the first person to ever write a mass market book on public speaking, the art of public speaking, actually says that the world's best kept secrets are masked in stories. So find ways. I know this is something that is not easy and that is why public speaking coaches or communication coaches actually exist. People like Carmen Gallo helps CEOs to make their presentations including or rather encompassing the art of storytelling so that they can make TED worthy presentations that will be remembered by their audiences. So always remember to try and find stories. And these stories may not necessarily be your personal stories. They could be stories of other people. Sir Ken Robinson gave a presentation about how the education system worldwide has stifled creativity. And in his presentation, he had several stories that he shared, most of them very, very hilarious. But guess what? Most of these stories were not personal stories, but were stories of other people so feel comfortable to explore everything under the face of the earth is not new so there are so many ideas and stories are everywhere and every single day there's a story that you can write off the third and final principle under the umbrella emotional is that of having a conversation when you are public speaking which is very very important what did I love about the insights in Talk Like Ted? Vocal variety is something that has been highlighted in this book. And this is something that we have talked about in Speaker Secrets. It is important for you to utilize tone, speed, volume of your voice when you communicate. The art of pausing is something that is really, really important and does make a difference. What else did I appreciate about having a conversation body language body language is something that is very very important when you are making a presentation and this information is backed by scientific research which you will find in this book talk like ted keeping your palms open there's so many speeches that you can look at when you visit the ted website or when you go onto YouTube, you will realize that some of the most effective speakers, some of the most influential speakers utilize their body language when they communicate or when they orate. So at that point, I will now wrap up part one of my review of the book. Look out for part two and part three as I give you some insights or rather some of the highlights that I have found in this wonderful book. It was gifted to me more than five years ago. I have read bits and pieces of it. Recently, I read it from the first to the last page and I must say it is a must have. If you get your hands on this book, please do utilize it because the public speaking principles that are contained in it will be very, very useful for 
your growth. So until my next video, it's goodbye for now.